in this video we have a sequence of numbers and we have to find on the prime numbers so the first number is 101 first number is 101 and we can easily say that it is a prime number it is a prime number and the next number is a 10101 it is 10101 and here the sum of digit is 3 so we can say that 3 is a factor and the next number is 101010101 and clearly 3 is not a factor 5 is also not a factor and if we spend 2 to 3 minutes then we can get 73 is a factor and by the same way, if we spend some time in this number, then we can factor this number also. And sometimes by this way, we get a specific pattern. But in this problem, I don't think we can get any specific pattern. So we need to think it in a different way. So how can we think it? So the first number is 101 it is 101 and we can write 101 is 1 plus 100 or 1 plus 10 square and the next number is 10101 and it is 1 plus 10 square plus 10 power 4 and the third number is 101101 and it is 1 plus 10 square plus 10 power 4 plus 10 power 6 and if we follow the same pattern then the nth number it will be 1 plus 10 square plus 10 power 4 plus up to 10 power 2n and now we have to find on the prime numbers so the nth number is in gp and we know that in gp a plus ar plus ar square and up to ar power n is equal to a into r to the power number of terms here the number of terms is n plus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1. So the nth number it will be here a is 1 and r is 10 square and number of terms is n plus 1 minus 1 by r is 10 square minus 1 or we get 10 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 1 by 10 square is 100 minus 1 is 99 or we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so we get 10 to the power n plus 1 plus 1 into 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 by 99. It is the nth number. And now if we check for n is equal to 1 then for n is equal to 1 we get 10 square plus 1 into 10 square minus 1 by 99 that is 101 into 99 by 99 and 99 and 99 when you get cancelled and we get 101 that is a prime number and now for n greater than or equal to 2 for 
n greater than or equal to 2 we have nth number is equal to 10 to the power n plus 1 plus 1 into 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 by 99 and for n greater than equal to 2 here 10 to the power n plus 1 plus 1 will be greater than 99 and 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 is also greater than 99 and nth number must be an integer or positive integer. So we can say that for n greater than equal to 2 this cannot be a prime number. For n greater than equal to 2 this cannot be a prime number. So we get 101 is the only prime number.